Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys five amazing iPhone mods that you should try on your iPhone in 2021. Like this transparent widget right here or these amazing widgets that you can see right here. Or wait, can you see them or not? Here are the widgets. You just swipe like that and you reveal your widgets. That's really, really cool. I will show you guys how to do that and of course, much more. So let's get started. But wait, before we get into that, make sure to leave a like as it helps my channel a lot. All right, first of all, I will show you guys how to create these amazing transparent widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Now, of course, you need to use the best widget app there's out there, and that is, of course, Widget. Now, what you need to do is go to Widget and, of course, just download the widget that you want to use. Now, they're all widgets that already have been created with an image in the background, and that allows you to easily turn them into transparent widgets. So, if you find one of those, it will be very, very easy. So, you can join the amazing widget community on Reddit, of course, and find amazing widgets for your device. So once you find a widget like this one right here, I'll show you guys how to make that transparent. What you need to do is just go to your home screen and go to the last page just like this, go to the edit mode and take a screenshot here. Once you have done that, you go to this app, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video, tap on create and load that screenshot. Once you have loaded the screenshot, just tap that little download button right there. Let's just close this and click the save button. Now what you need to do is basically decide what widget you want to use, whether that's a medium, a small or a big widget and the position of the widget. You tap the three dots right here and tap on save cropped image and you will have your images right here. So if you want to do, let's say a medium one and you want to place it in the middle, then you choose this part right here. Tap on the download. Let's close this. There are a lot of ads, but the app is free. so. Just tap on save and you're good to go. Now go back to widget and find of course the widget that you want to use. So in this case, let's choose one here. So let's go with this one. What we need to do is just tap the edit button and just tap on the widget until we completely select the widget. You can see that outline right there. Tap on image right there and tap on image library and just load that part that you just saved. Once you have loaded that, you're good to go. You tap the back button and tap confirm. Now you need to go to manage and just add that to one of the slots. So here you have the medium slots and go ahead and just choose the one you just created. So here it is and now we're good to go. Go to the home screen and just add the widget. You go to the home screen, you add the widget and of course if you add it right there you can see it won't look that good but you will need to place it at the place where you have saved the image. So you can see now it's transparent and it looks actually really really good. Now let's move on and let me show you guys how to create these widgets right here that will actually hide and are actually really really cool. So here are a few simple steps that you need to follow in order to create that. It might seem complicated, but it's not. So what you need to do is again, you need this free app, which of course you can find in the description of the video. So you open the app and what you need to do is just load a screenshot of the last page, just like you did with the transparent widget. So again, if you didn't catch that part, you go to the last page on the edit mode, you take a screenshot. Once you have done that, you come to the app and you tap on create and load that screenshot. Now here in this case, we have that screenshot already loaded and what we need to do is just go ahead and go to the page where we want to create that widget that hides. All we gotta do is just tap to add that widget. So go to the widgets panel and from here, all you need to do is just find that app. It will be at the bottom because it doesn't have a name. You tap there and you choose to add a medium widget. So in this case, I will add this one and what we need to do now is just stack them together. So basically what you're doing here is adding this part of the wallpaper that's correspondent to that part right there at the top. So you can see right here, I can create actually a stack here. So let's just go to the ed edit mode. So create a stack. And once we move to that widget, you can see it will actually hide because it will blend in with the wallpaper. So you can see how cool that looks. But what if we decide to place this another place, like right here in the middle? So all you gotta do, you don't have to create a new one. All you gotta do is just tap and hold here and tap on edit the widget, not the stack, 
and choose here the position. So just choose middle and it will switch to that part of the wallpaper. You can see how cool that is. They're just hiding right there and you just swipe like this and you can reveal your widgets. Next up, I will show you guys how to hide the dock on your iOS 14 device. So all you gotta do is just go to this website, which of course, again, will be in the description of the video. You will have all kinds of different wallpapers that are created to actually hide the dock. You will have black ones, white ones, you have like different gradients right here, we'll have ones with icons and such stuff. So you will find basically a lot here on this website. So you go ahead and just choose whichever one you want to use. So in this case, we're going with black. So just tap on all iPhones right there. And once we are in here, all we gotta do is just make sure that we tap on one of them and it will open it just like this. Just make sure you go ahead and save this to your photos and you're good to go. All you gotta do now is just make sure you set it as a wallpaper in the right way. So you go to your photo library and just tap that share button and tap use as wallpaper. Make sure that you don't move it around and you tap right here and disable perspective zoom without zooming in or out in the wallpaper. Tap set right here, set on the home screen and here you go. Once you go to the home screen, you can see that it actually hides the background of the dock and the background of the, of the folders icon as well. This actually looks really, really good. And of course, will make your iPhone look much, much different. Next up, I will show you guys how to get these amazing animations when you're charging your iPhone. You can see how cool this look. And what I like about these certain ones is that the quality is really, really high. Now, of course, the first thing you will need to do here to set this up is install this app, which is free, it's called Charging Play. And again, of course, it will be linked right down below in the description of the video. Now, once you have installed the app, all you gotta do here is basically choose the animation that you want to use. Like this is the home screen here, tap on view all, and you will see all kinds of different animations that you can use. So let's just try one here. So let's go with this one. You can tap on settings and right here you can disable play only once which will, will basically play this animation once and close it so you disable that you can also enable or disable the sound and you can show progress once you have that done you tap on setup and you're good to go what you need to do now is head on to the shortcuts app right here go to automations and tap on create personal automation right here tap on charger and then leave it in connected tap next and search for charging play. So tap on add action and search right here. Once you have searched for charging play, you will find it right here, tap on it, tap the next button, disable ask before running, tap on don't ask, tap done, and now you're basically good to go. Now every time you plug in your device to charge, you can see that you will get actually that beautiful animation on the screen, which makes your device stand out and actually look really, really good. And you can see also the percentage of battery charge right there, which makes this that much better. Next up, I will show you guys how to add custom icons to the home screen of your iOS 14 device. You don't actually need to create them one by one. You can add packs of custom icons and they look really good. Now I use two different apps. Moloco is my favorite. I use Aesthetics as well. So if you install this app, which of course will be right down below in the description of the video, you will see here themes that actually look really, really good. Once you have found one that you like, all you gotta do is just tap the get button. From here, you will have system apps and third party apps. Of course, you choose whichever ones you want to install. It will open here on Safari, tap on allow, and now it has created a profile which will basically install all these icons together. Now, what you need to do is just head on to the settings app, go to general, and scroll all the way down. Right here, we'll find the profile and just make sure to tap on install, add your passcode here. Once you have added the passcode, you tap the install button, tab done, you go to your home screen and you will have all these custom icons. You can see how cool these actually look. Now, the bad thing is that Apple has removed the feature where you don't actually have to be redirected through the shortcuts app to do that. But again, if you like 
to have custom icons, this is the way to go. This app is absolutely amazing and I use it all the time when I need to install custom icons on my device. And the other app, Aesthetics as well, this has also some pretty cool icons. You can see packs here that you can easily install simply by tapping on them, tap on the download icons, and this will actually download the icons from the app this will download these as images. So if you just wanna do that, you go to images here, and once you go to the images, you will see the whole pack is downloaded. Now if you wanna create these by yourself using the Shortcuts app, then you can use these images, of course, the icons from this app, which of course will also be right down below in the description of the video. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.